In this Godot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up pathfinding via the navigation agent to the node. Download the project from GitHub. All the links to the tutorial can be found in the description of this video. Open up Godot Engine and import the project that you will find in the extracted folder. The project itself consists of a tilemap background and some villagers. The player has a special movement controller attached to it, while the NPCs have a random movement controller as a child. When starting the game, you can click to move. However, our little goblin and its friends try to swim always in straight lines. Let's fix that. Godot 3.5 and Godot 4.0 introduced a navigation server that handles 2D and 3D pathfinding for you. For our purposes, you could work with the navigation 2D server node directly by accessing methods on it. However, we do not have to do that, since Godot also introduced additional nodes that can help us with the pathfinding. Let's open the villager scene and add the so-called navigation agent to the node to it. This node can compute a navigation path for us and communicates to the navigation to the server on our behalf. Within the property inspector, we can leave most of the default values alone. First, let us inject the navigation agent into our villager script. Remove the existing target location variable from the top and instead set the target location of the navigation agent within the set target location method. Rather than calculating the move direction from the distance vector to the target location directly, we will instead calculate it based on the next location of the navigation agent. Also make sure to set the velocity on the navigation agent after we computed it ourselves. Lastly, we will have to adjust the logic within arrived at location function by checking if the navigation is finished. Unfortunately, starting the game reveals that the goblins do not move. The reason is that Godot expects a navigation map to be configured that describes where a node can move. We could go ahead and configure navigation data within the tile set and then tick the bake navigation checkbox within the tile map properties. Especially in Godot 3.5, this is not very performant though. Godot will create one navigation mesh per cell. As an alternative, we can add a so-called navigation polygon instance to our main scene. The catch? We'll have to draw the traversable area ourselves with the polygon drawing tool. In the interest of time, I already pre-configured this, so all you have to do is loading the existing navigation polygon instance resource. Now the goblins can swim around the water. It would be quite useful to see the path the goblin wants to swim. Introduce a new signal called path changed that accepts an array of positions. Connect the path changed signal of the navigation agent and emit our signal by passing in the current nav path of the navigation agent. To ensure the visualization gets cleared when the target is arrived, emit the path changed signal within the physics process function and pass an empty array. To actually visualize the path, we are going to add a line to d node to our main scene. I am also going to tweak its appearance by setting the line width to 5 and setting its color to semi-transparent white. All we then have to do is connect the path changed signal to our to d navigation server main script. Inject the line to d node and assign the path to the points property of the to d line. The path should now show accordingly when running the game. The goblins seem to ignore one another and do not actually try to avoid collision. With physics bodies involved, this can lead to problems. For example, bodies get stuck. Navigation agents come with obstacle avoidance almost out of the box. In order to enable it, let's head back to our villager node and tick the avoidance enable checkbox on the navigation agent. We currently compute the velocity ourselves and in order to ensure obstacles are avoided, the navigation agent computes velocity for us. To access it, connect the velocity computed signal. Move the movement logic from the physics process method into the signal and pass the save velocity into the move and slide method. You may have noticed the ferry captain and his ship that eagerly transports boxes back and forth. Currently, the goblins do not seem to be too impressed by it and simply ignore it. To change that, introduce a navigation obstacle to D node on the ship position node within the ship scene. The navigation obstacle to D node is especially useful if you want to ensure obstacle avoidance by navigation agents, but do not want to use the actual navigation behavior. Our ship is moved via an animation player, so there is no need to use a navigation agent to D here. The estimate radius property is enabled by default and will use the collision shape that is attached to the 
cinematic body 2D as a reference. You can also override this property yourself. If you are using Godot 3.5, you may experience a bug where the navigation obstacle 2D does not correctly work. As a quick fix, we can inject the navigation obstacle 2D into our ship node. Then, within the ready function, access the navigation 2D server directly and call the agent set map method by passing in the RID of the navigation obstacle and the navigation map from the 2D world, which should be available from within the ship node itself. Starting the game now should correctly show how the ship is avoided by the goblins. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know in the comments what other things you would like to learn. Make sure to join our Discord server and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more game dev stuff.